Forgiveness alert! That's right, Jackie. We have three different Callaway models that we're going to be comparing today. The three latest, most forgiving Callaway drivers on the market. We are in the tour van today, and I'm lucky to have Jackie to help me compare three very forgiving drivers from Callaway. So we have the Callaway Big Bertha B21, the Maverick Max, and the Epic Max driver. Jackie, thanks so much for joining. Yeah, I'm excited to test these out today. Yes, this is going to be a very interesting test. There are so many forgiving drivers out on the market today and Callaway is no exception. You'll notice in the last couple years, there has been plenty of different forgiving drivers. So the Callaway Maverick Max is a 2020 model. The Big Bertha B21 just came out in the end of 2020, and we just luckily got the new Epic Max driver that just came out in 2021. So we've got a great comparison here today to compare these models to figure out which model you should be playing in your bag. So Jackie's going to be hitting today all with 10.5 degree driver heads. I'm going to be dissecting all the data that Trackman presents. Let's get after it and take a look at some numbers. Let's go. That was good. Okay, so Jackie, first off, we were hitting the Callaway Epic Max. So it's the new driver for Callaway in 2021. First off, how did that one maybe look at a dress or how did it feel? Yeah, I mean, it looks like, you know, your standard Callaway driver. Um, and it looks fresh. Like, I like the look of it for sure. Uh, the feel of it, uh, you know, it. I don't know, it feels like a Callaway driver. I don't know how to really explain that much more than that. It's, it's nice, it, when I hit it well, it was you know, coming off the face good. And uh, you know, with, with the exception of one there that you know, got a little bit away from me, I left the club face open a little bit, but the forgiveness in it, you could definitely feel for sure. Yeah, I mean, touching on that forgiveness, and I'm gonna bring up your, your hit location here on, on those shots here. So we were close to the middle, but we know with your smash factor number being at 1.43 that we were leaving a little bit on the table. And we'll notice that even when you don't quite catch it in the middle, so we had a few kind of on the, on the heel side of the driver, we'll notice that bull speed was still pretty good. So we were still pushing 130 miles an hour for bull speed with your club speed being around about, uh, you're around about 90 miles an hour with your club speed. Um, so what's interesting is the spin rate still stayed under 3,000 RPMs even though you're catching a little on the heel. And you're still getting decent distance. So 231.2, I know you normally say you normally hit your drive around about 230 to 235. Is that correct? Yep, somewhere in there. Yep, so pr pretty good, um, pretty forgiving. You know, ni nice height flying in the air. So your carry distance is going to be you know, important. So your carry distance was 205, which is good. So forgiveness is definitely key. So not every golf was going to hit it in the dead center of the club face every single time. So that's important that we are testing these models because there's a reason why they're considered the max because it's max forgiveness, max mm -hmm. MOI, and it's going to help a player, especially if you catch it on the toe or the heel as well. So good start by the Callaway Epic Max. Let's test next the Callaway Big Bertha B21. That sounded smoked. Yeah, that felt good. Yeah, I want to. I just want to touch on that that shot you just hit there. First shot up with the B twenty one. Notice how much easier it was for you to pick at that thing to draw a little bit. Yeah, your club speed was a little bit slower, but ball speed was very very good. So. Excellent, good draw bias club mm -hmm. is the, the B21. And right off the bat, we'll notice a little bit more draw bias with that shot. That was bad. Off the toe, but it probably still won't be terrible. 
Oh, yeah, so yeah. Speaking, speaking on forgiveness, that's yeah. a great example of forgiveness. I know your reaction there was, it didn't hit that very well. Yeah. But notice how that was a high launch, low spin, dead straight shot. Yeah, I'll take that. So Jackie, five shots with the Big Bertha B21. First thing we notice these yellow circles that are flashing that are a little bit straighter. So it's clearly obvious this thing was a little bit easier for you to hit a little straighter. It wasn't out to the right. Yeah, I could definitely feel like the club face being able to turn over just naturally when I hit it. So I knew I would, I was hitting it a little bit straighter and uh, not as much curve as you know the Epic. So. And it felt good. I mean, even on my miss hit, like I knew I miss hit it, but I knew that it still was probably going to be okay. <laughs> yeah, that one miss hit was definitely impressive. And it, it, this driver actually is really impressive, the Big Bertha B21, because it's kind of interesting. I was kind of asking you, do you feel like you're swinging a little bit slower? You said maybe that head just felt like it was just a little bit heavier in your hands. Is that mm -hmm. accurate? Yeah, it definitely feels a little bit heavier. Um, I felt like the Epic was pretty light, so I was able to get a couple really good, you know, fast swings in there when I was hitting it. But the, the B21 definitely felt a little bit heavier. Yeah, it's really interesting because you'll notice your ball speed was the exact same with the two models, but you were swinging about four miles an hour less with the Big Bertha B21. So you check out the smash factor. So one, four, nine, that is exceptionally good. The loft on the driver didn't change. You've still got 10.5 degree heads as we're testing here too. But yeah, launching about 14 with a little bit less spin, we'll notice we up a little bit of distance, even though we were swinging four miles an hour less. So that's really impressive. Want to bring up kind of hit location with this one here too. We'll notice, yeah, you had that one that was on the, on the toe side that you know got away with forgiveness wise there too. But it's kind of interesting. Pretty close to the middle of the face there. But really good numbers. I'm, I'm impressed. And I think the biggest takeaway for me is just where the ball ended up. It's just a little bit more to the left compared to the Epic Max. Keep in mind with the Epic Max 2, you can always slide that weight into the heel as well. So we've got the Epic Max and we'll have the Maverick Max in the standard weight settings or the, the heavy weight kind of right in the back or the sliding weight right in the back centered in a neutral position. But the Big Bertha V21 for sure is a little bit more draw bias from what we can see. Okay, so now you've hit all three models. Was there anything that you could notice with regards to looks or feel with the models? Well, the Maverick and the Epic, um look very similar besides color uh, when it comes to the head. Yep. The B21's got a little bit more of a like outer, yeah, I don't know what you'd call that, but outer edge. So the, the you can definitely tell that the weight is more towards the back of the club. Um, but in terms of like overall feel, they all felt very similar. It just, I mean, again, the B21 felt like I could actually get through the ball a little bit better, which makes sense because it's draw bias. Yep. Um, but yeah, the Epic and Maverick, honestly, I didn't, it, to me, it felt virtually the same. So, Interesting. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking at the two models here right now, and I for sure can see, you know, you got more weight pushed back there with the B21. So it's more, I guess, triangular kind yeah. of looking where the, the Max is a little bit more rounded. Now there's for sure weight pushed back. They're both very, very forgiving models looking down at there. Mm -hmm. uh, and the same thing is gonna be with the, with the Maverick Max as well. So yeah, they look kind of similar. Well, this one, for sure it's obvious you can see more weight pushed back. And it definitely is a little bit more draw bias model. And we're seeing that with regards to dispersion there too. So mm -hmm. it's kind of interesting, the, the Maverick Max and the Epic Max, uh, you will notice pretty similar with regards to dispersion, just pushed just a little bit to the right side. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you have the Big Bertha B21 where you will get in the ball to kind of turn over a little bit easier. If we look at ball speed numbers, um, it's kind of interesting. Epic Max and Big Bertha B21, they're both about the kind of the same with regards to ball speed. The Maverick Max was just, just a little bit less. So keep in mind when we were swinging with the uh, Epic Max, you were swinging a little bit faster. Now we've done some testing here today, you could be just going to get a little bit tired, mm -hmm. which is important to keep in mind because on the golf course, people will get start to get tired there too. So this is a forgiveness test. So that's just the forgiveness where, as we're hitting the Maverick Max. 
So we'll notice here you are catching it a little bit high toe, which is where you would want to miss it on the club face if you are going to miss the middle of the face there too. So if you're going to be comparing like spin rate between Maverick Max and Epic Max, it's kind of interesting how the Maverick Max was spinning less than the Epic Max, but that's to do with hit location. When you were hitting the Epic Max, it was more in the middle. When you hit the Maverick Max, it was a little bit more on uh, up higher on the toe side, which is going to cause a little bit less spin. But you're talking pretty similar. We're talking within 100 RPMs of each other there right. as well. Big birth of B21. You know, it was interesting. You were drawing the ball. It was keeping that spin rate down, and it was it was hot. It was it was going pretty far. So you'll notice actually that one was going the furthest of them all there as well. Maverick Max and Epic Max were pretty similar with regards to. Um, carry and total distance there as well. But yeah, you were getting yeah maybe a, a little bit tired there at the end with those two there. But this is a good forgiveness test. Forgiveness is where it's at. Not everyone's going to hit in the middle of the club face. And we can see that here today, that we had some different dispersion patterns with each driver model. But the important piece is you are still able to hit the ball straight. So yep. forgiveness is key with these models. So if you are still having a little bit of a, a slice issue with the Maverick Max or with the Epic Max, you can definitely move that weight a little bit more in the heel. With the Maverick Max, there's two different weights. You can flip flop them around, have the, have the heavy weight in the heel and the lighter weight in the back, or you can have the heavy weight in the back and the lighter weight in the heel. That just really increases the MOI on the driver. It really makes it really forgiving. Same thing with the Epic Max. You've got the, the sliding weight here. Right now we're kind of testing with the right kind of in the middle. But you can definitely slide that thing all the way around to the heel if, if you need to, um, to make it a little more draw bias. Just keep in mind when you are moving this weight away from the back, this is the highest, more forgiving area. You are making it just ever so slightly forgiving, but it's going to make it a little bit easier to turn over. But these drivers for sure are extremely forgiving, definitely designed to launch high um, and, and carry further for a slower swing speed golfer. So great options here by Callaway, I think this is a great comparison comparing the last three models that Callaway's brought out. They're still available in stores new or even used. So you can definitely get the, the Maverick Max as a good discount at Second Swing online used or even in our stores. We have plenty of inventory available. Or if you're looking at getting fit, the new Epic Max and the B21 drivers are great options to come in and get fit at Second Swing in our stores or online at secondswing.com will get a sales associate to help you out. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel. We've got plenty of other great stuff like this coming your way in the future.